the ultimate in human life so he has no doubt duty anymore though he may work on he may do many things he may buy and sell he may travel he may eat he may drink he may sleep you know he may have children he may the spiritual science is mind blowing we begin with some kind of narrow ideas but really practically all kinds of human uh, activities are possible for an enlightened man also only he has no selfishness only he has no egoism biological and the basic functional psychology is very much operational in him if an un- 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 unenlightened man loves coffee after enlightened you think he will love tea he will continue to love coffee before enlightenment if you love hindustani music after enlightenment would you love carnatic music no there so many things you know therefore love of children love of spouse love of a language hundred things continue but a judgmentalism you may love your language in ignorance you perhaps look down at other languages in that illumination you respect all languages but you humbly say i don't know that language but uh, the language that i have grown up with is rich in literature and i enjoy some of those pieces so there is no judgmentalism kritya masti kim naiva there is no duty left for anyone and summarily therefore there are again two stages one is withdraw the mind from distractions from kamini kanchana and kirti somebody called it the kmart it's not the kmart as you know here kamini kanchana and kirti kamini literally meaning woman is symbolic of a whole lot of sense pleasures and so on for men and women both varieties of sense attractions kanchana is the joy and of the pleasure of having wealth possession kirti is name and fame so kamini kanchana kirti is one idiomatic expression unfortunately many of these were framed by men in the good old days male dominated society so language even now continues to be somewhat you know with a male bias so we apologize for that so i think some people should take up instead of kamini kanchana kirti uh, some word you know man wealth and fame so some word for man starting with k has to be you know picked up yeah, yeah. anyway that's another social issue this gender inequality the 16th verse simply says we read it already drishya varitam to begin with it is all about play safe withdraw the mind from things that tempt you or things that provoke you because we get tempted and get stuck or we get provoked and we become destructive both over indulgence unnatural or disproportionate indulgence and violence anger destructive behavior are highly detrimental to spirituality so drishya varitam first play safe then do eka chantana and fix your mind in the pure self such a mind drishya varitam chittam when it comes to the higher stage chitva darshanam it sees how one is chit see chit means pure consciousness chitva means the state of being the pure consciousness chitva is what we call the abstract noun of chit so you have shukla means white shuklatva is whiteness krishna is black krishnatva is blackness lagu is light lagutva so chit is consciousness chitva is being that consciousness so the fact that i am consciousness becomes crystal clear upon exercising on the higher plane not just to calm in quiet and in controlling subs making it subside but illumine 
take a different look at the whole thing, get a new insight, have a fresh outlook, do out of box thinking, am I this body at all, and so on, then that itself is tattva darshanam, that itself is the highest darshana vision of truth. Tattva is the truth. The six verses <coughs> highlighting calming the mind with pranayama and transcending the mind with the eka chintana, brahma chintana have been presented here. So to sum up, karma yoga was summed up as when we offer our actions to Lord, which means no more for selfish gratification, that is Karma Yoga, Ishwar Arpitam. Bhakti Yoga, it is all about seeing God, loving God, and extend the scope of God in your understanding to pervade everything, and what is more, have towards God this understanding. God alone is. I am also part of God. I am also involved, included in God. God alone is. That is Abheda Bhavana. Now, this evening we saw in Raja Yoga, there are exercises for which breath control is an excellent representative. And using such exercises, you and I can come upon economy of thought, economy of words. We waste so much of energy in going on thinking, going on talking, going on repetitively, you know, uh, network of thought. So use pranayama, pranavikshana or some such exercise, even bhajan, kirtan, all of them help you in that. Calm the mind, but don't stop there. Apply that mind made calm to Vedantic insights. The Vedanta say certain things reflect on it. Is that so? Am I pure awareness? Am I the witnessing consciousness? What does it mean? Consult some teachers, consult some good fellow sadhakas. You will get great clarity. And once there is greater clarity, meditation becomes more natural. Otherwise, meditation is another struggle. So, meditation flows as you have clarity. Today's topic was that kind of transcending the ego by higher contemplation, that is Tattva Darshanam. Three out of the four paths have been covered in 16 verses. Essentially, the next four verses touch upon the Jnana Yoga or Vichara Marga. But then last ten verses throw, throw light on all these uh, so many associated issues are taken up in the last ten verses. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Namaha Hari Om